Skype Live for Android launched in India, Snapdeal to lay off around 600 people, LG K10 2017 launched in India. It's February 22nd and this is 360 Daily. At Microsoft's Future Decoded event held in Mumbai, CEO Satya Nadella announced a new Skype Lite app for Android exclusively for the Indian market. Developed in Hyderabad, Skype Lite uses fewer resources so it can work on low-end smartphones. It can also alter the call quality depending on the speed of the network. The app also debuts a Skype Plus Aadhaar feature which can be used to identify the person on the call. Nadella also announced Project Sangam, a push for PM Modi's Skill India mission which is an effort to help the government train and help people get jobs via LinkedIn. This will commence from Andhra Pradesh. Things don't seem to be going too well at Snapdeal, as according to sources, the company will be laying off around 600 people across e-commerce, logistics and payments operations over the next few days. Interestingly, Snapdeal-owned FreeCharge CEO Govind Rajan has also quit after less than two years of joining the firm. According to a Snapdeal spokesperson, this realignment of resources is in a bid to become the first profitable e-commerce company within two years. LG has launched a 2017 edition of the K10 at 13,990 rupees and it will be available via retail stores. This dual SIM smartphone supports VOLTE, a panic button and up to 9 regional languages. The phone runs on Android 7.0 Nuga and features a 5.3 inch HD display, an octa-core MediaTek SoC, 2GB of RAM and a 13 megapixel rear camera. Honor unveiled a new flagship smartphone called the V9 in China in two variants. A 64GB model that's priced at 2,999 Chinese won or approximately 30,000 rupees and a 128GB model whose price is yet to be announced. The phone features a 5.7 inch Quad HD display, dual 12 megapixel sensors with laser autofocus, a Kirin 960 SoC and runs on Android 7.0 Nougat and packs in a 4000mAh battery. A fresh set of iPhone 8 rumors are out and according to KGI analyst Ming-Shi Kuo, the front camera of the iPhone 8 will also be accompanied by an infrared module for sensing 3D objects. Using this, it should be able to merge 2D imagery with depth information for gaming, augmented reality, iris scanning and even facial recognition. Other rumors also suggest that Apple may go with Intel's latest LTE modem in its next iPhone given its recent lawsuit with Qualcomm in China. Intel's new XMM7650 LTE modem supports download speeds of up to 1 Gbps and CDMA bands as well, making it the perfect substitute for Qualcomm's X16 chip. So that's it for this edition of 360 Daily. Be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.